So I've been working on the Seek Chase um, a lot recently, and I think I finally have something that I'm kind of happy with. Not it's it's obviously it's obviously not done, but um, uh, it's a good start. So let me just find the key really quick so I can show you guys. So um, just open this. So when we get to the end of the hallway, right? I'll go now, and um, we trigger like that cutscene. I have it now, so it triggers he appears and then he starts actually like coming after you but uh it's not like he doesn't have any animations yet but uh he does start coming towards you which is a good start so how i did this was in the c corridor first of, first of all i made some changes oh by the way this will all be linked in the description um and it will be updated with the kit anyway so in the last uh doors episode we made this long hallway that uh a pillar fell down and we had to crouch underneath to get under underneath it um basically i attached this to the seek to the seek corridor um so that it uh you know spawns in with it and basically this is the entrance so this is where it gets this is where this room gets put onto all the other generator rooms but then i have the exit set to over here and another thing i just noticed this door didn't spawn in Okay, I know why. Because it wasn't with that. Let me see now. If it uh, spawns in the door with the room. But like I said, this will be linked in the description. This isn't really going to be a tutorial video. I mean, some of it will be a tutorial. Because I'm going to show you guys how I did it. But a lot of it will just be updating the kit with stuff that I've been working on. I know you guys have been commenting all the, you know, recently for more seek parts. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and bang one out because I haven't worked on this in a while and I wanted to uh, get back on get back to working on it but let me see so we get to here the cutscene plays where he comes out of the ground he starts running towards us you can see we have to open the door we have to crouch under this and we are in the next room but um what was I going to say I was going to say something Hold up. That might be broken. Oh, never mind. That was not broken. Uh, let me just stop that. Don't want to get a jump scare. Anyway, uh, so let me show you guys how I did this, how I made it work. So basically, in the C corridor, we have a um, part here. Hold on. We have a part here called the trigger, right? We we did this in like weeks ago when, when I originally started making the uh, doors episodes not the doors episodes the seek chase door parts um in the handler is like everything that controls the cutscene stuff like that but at the end here i did four i uh equals one comma not comma hashtag trigger part dot parent dot waypoints going get children do and then we tween the seek model to each of the waypoints and in the seek corridor i now have a new folder called waypoints and this is where i'm going to control where i have um seek running to so he'll start off here and then he'll come all the way to here and then he will make his way through the rooms obviously there's only one room that we need to get through right now in the next part i'll uh, add more rooms and i'll show you guys how you can do that but for now i just want to have one example room to show you guys keep it on a smaller scale um but yeah, so he starts off here. He'll make his way to the first checkpoint. When he reaches that, I mean, first waypoint, when he reaches that, he'll then start making his way to the second waypoint, which is over here, past all this. We don't want him to get stuck with, we don't want him to get stuck by this stuff right here. So I was thinking about using move to, but move to is out of the equation because he'll get stuck on all this stuff. So we were just, we're just going to tween him through all of this so that he doesn't have to worry about, you know, having to crouch under this stuff. But uh, some things you can add are like a run animation. There's no run on anim animation on him right now because I just wanted to get the main movement script to work. But if you have an animation that you want to play, I'll show you guys how you can do that. When um, when we start doing this, you can right before it, you can add like up here we did a merge animation equals seek that merge animation, all this stuff. You should you could paste this, put it right here, say run animation. You could do like seek dot run animation uh run track and it would look something like this it would be a looped uh animation make sure you have that looped 
so that he's just continuously in that running, you know, stance, pose, whatever you want to call it, so that he's continuously in that running animation while he's moving through the waypoints. Um, let me think here. What else should we do? Um, hmm. I do not, I don't like it when we like come in this part right here is like blocked by like the seek. It's like the seek is just invisible right now. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to duplicate the humanoid root part. We'll name the seek spawn like that. And then we will um, cut seek out. We will throw them inside of replicated storage. And then in the handler, we will make a new seek. So to do this, we'll say local seek equals game colon get service replicate storage dot seek colon clone seek dot parent equals uh, trigger part dot parent. So the trigger parts parent is the C corridor model. Then we'll say seek dot humanoid root part dot C frame equals trigger part dot parent dot seek spawn dot C frame. So now that should spawn them in. Let's throw this back inside of replicated storage. We will go ahead and play test. And we'll spawn in. Hold up. Let's move our player. Like I said, we'll all be um, updated in the kit. I'm sorry for making for making you guys wait so long. Um, we are nearing the end of the series. Uh, there's probably only going to be like two more parts after this, really. I'm not going to be adding ambush. It's too much stuff to add. I can't do like the whole doors game, but I do want to finish off with seek chase and making sure that it looks very good. So anyway, we need a key. So we'll pick this up. We will unlock the door. And now, okay, good. There's no like collision stuff here, but if we go... Trigger the cutscene. Let's see if it works. Boom. Comes out of the ground. Starts running towards us. And we have to escape. Just like that. Ooh, that was actually that was actually really cool. That was actually close. Anyway. Um, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to make uh, show you guys an update on what I'm working on on the Seek kit seek series door series whatever you guys want to call it just wanted to make an update video not not too long of a video don't want to keep it long want to get get it out because you guys have been waiting so long and i know you guys really like this series but like i said we are nearing the end of it you know two more parts three more parts at most after this um finishing up the seek chase and then probably adding like details and then that'll probably be it again sorry but no ambush all that stuff just it's getting We've, we're on like almost the 30th part, so it's it's um, it's getting pretty kind of stressful stress, stressful to keep making parts on and episodes on. I kind of want to move on to new tutorials and new stuff on the channel, but I um, wanted to get this video out. I keep repeating myself, but you know, that's how it goes. Like I said, five other times throughout the video, this will be all included in the kit. I will update the kit with all new stuff. Um... And yep, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below. And if you guys want priority response to whatever questions or comments, concerns you have, join my Discord server, chat in there. I respond to, I try to, I try to respond to stuff, um, but you know, whenever I can. Uh, and yep, if you guys enjoyed the video, liking, subscribing, all that stuff is very very appreciated and yep that's it for today's video and as always i will see you guys in the next one